right, so um, this time I took notes on Gossip Girl, so if I look down a lot, it's probably why. Okay, um, today's episode was so much better than last week. A huge improvement. Um, I stopped taking notes for a while, unfortunately, but I try to remember everything that went on so I can discuss it. Um, so first and foremost, Serena and Nate. What do you want to call them? Serenate? Sure. Okay, so Serenate. Those two at the beginning were just wild animals. There was no substance to the relationship. It was just getting really annoying. Um, and that, I know there's a lot of relationships like that. And then, um, so, um, I wouldn't know. Mm -mm. Oh, well. But, um, yeah, so Serenade was kind of just bunny on bunny, weren't they? All right. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are like that, too. Cochinos. All right. So, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, Chuck and Blair. I'll call them Chair. Uh, Blair doing the sounds is completely unnecessary. I, I know why she did it. Because, you know, down in the kitchen, Serenade is all like, like I said, bunny on bunny. Um, she wanted to, um, obviously, like, you know, make it believe or make them believe that, you know, they're having a good time too, even though they're not because Chuck was looking for Elizabeth slash Evelyn. Um, which by the way, he finds his mother. Oh snap. That's a little, just a little bit late in the episode. Um, Dan and Vanessa, whom I will call Danessa. Um, so let's get this straight. We have Serenate, Serena and Nate, Chair, Chuck and Blair, Danessa, Dan and Vanessa. So, Danessa, where the heck has Vanessa been? Like, she disappeared from, you know, since, like, what, Thanksgiving? And now she's, like, all of a sudden here, right before St. Patrick's Day. Um, which, by the way, I think they should have made an episode out of just them, like, drinking and binging. As well, I guess that's kind of what the show is already. Um, um, it was so awkward seeing both of them, like, at the beginning of the episode. It was so awkward seeing both of them talking with each other because, you know, the whole telling each other their feelings. Which, which by the way, um, if anyone watches this, like, has, it, has that ever happened to you? Um, it's happened to me once. Um, told someone I like them, and that person just, you know, to just distance themselves. It was really awkward. So, my question is, has it ever happened to you? And if it has, you know, share. I won't judge. Really, I won't judge. I, uh, the only, I swear to you, the only people I judge in this world are the fictional characters on the shows. Um... And those are fictional characters, so believe me, non-fiction characters such as you guys, I will not judge. I promise. I promise. Alright. Um, also, so yeah, Chuck finds his mom. Um, you know what, I'm going to talk about that more at the end, because I really liked that dynamic between Evelyn and Chuck. Alright, so let it, uh, later. Jenny and Damien, who I will call Jennyan. Uh, yes, Jennyan. Um, at first, like, I thought it was so frustrating. It was just so annoying. Um, I didn't know why they wanted, you know, why the producers or the writers wanted to have Damien and Jenny together. But, um, it was just extremely annoying, extremely uncomfortable to see them. And with the pills and, uh, just trying to see that Jenny from last year again, even worse. Eh, uh, I really miss Jenny from season one. I really do. Because Jenny from seasons two and three, she's just, uh, just such a, I don't want to say it. Anyway, yeah, you can think up of your own choice words there, I guess. All right, so now, Danessa kiss. They kiss behind the little portrait thing, and then they all turn all awkward and stuff. Um, which <laughs> was funny to me. Um, fine. Let's see. What else is there? Serena. Oh, Serena is such a meddler. After, you know, Chuck said he didn't want to know her. Here comes Serena. All, blah, blah, blah. You have to know, Chuck. You have to know. Because she's your mom. And she has a story. Blah, 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 blah. And really, all I want to know is about my dad. 
Man. Whatever. Like, you know, if you want to know about your dad, Serena, go find him. But because she tried to do that already and she doesn't want to know you, like, give it up. Okay? For real. I mean... No offense, but really, so many rich people. So many rich people. Uh, I know that was judgy. I'm sorry. I promise I'll do it again. Except for fictional characters, okay? No, I'm kidding. Right. Um, <clears throat> little J, admitting that those drugs were hers. What a little weirdo. But you know what? That story that Daniel told, like, it kind of redeemed him as a not really redeeming because I mean he's still gonna sell the drugs obviously um but yeah oh and at the end uh serenade I like at the beginning like I said it was just so it was just so superficial uh nothing to the relationship so when at the end when Serena finally came back to her home and Nate found her and told her that he wanted to be there for all that hard thing so much there was so much depth in that relationship so it was you know deep and moving and I could finally feel them actually being boyfriend and girlfriend being a couple being like Chuck and Blair um, so kudos to the writers for doing that um, what I noticed a lot from this season, and I get one, I, I think I get one, is that Danessa are very, very separate and so away from Serenade and Cher. Like, nowhere. It's just like two separate shows, basically. Danessa is one show, Serenade and Cher are another show. The only thing that they share is seasons one and two, and that's why they're still on. Yeah, I mean, they should just make Gossip Girl and then Poor People. I mean, spin off show Poor People. And that'll feature Danessa. Because Jenny's not even part of the friggin'. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Jenny's not part of the Danessa crowd anymore. She's part of the Cher and Serenade crowd, along with Damien. Anyway. Um, oh, I'm so mad at Lily for, like, cheating on, on Lucas. For seasons one and two, I kept fighting for them, fight, like, wanting them to fight and fight and fight to be together. And what did the writers do? Oh, sorry, Rufus, I kissed with, uh, or I kissed, um, my ex-husband and slept, you know, in the same bed with him, like, Thanks, Lily. You, you cheap Blanche Devereaux. Um, but, which, by the way, I love Blanche Devereaux. Um, but, oh, it was just so frustrating that finally I get to see them get married, and then two seconds later, whoop, there goes Lily to Europe, gone, you know, to the bunch. I don't like that at all. Right. And finally, Serena. I felt sad for Serena at the end. Um, when she said, at first, I didn't think you wanted to know me. But now it's me who doesn't want to know you. That was powerful. It really was. Um, I felt that. Like, usually, I'm not a big I'm not a big, like, Blake Lively fan, but at that point, I was like, I felt the emotion, I felt the actress through those words, and it was powerful. And I felt so happy for Chuck, and seeing, like, a nice smile that didn't involve, like, anything behind it, like, he was all mischievous, and I was like, huh, my smile, there's something behind my smile, and you have to figure it out. This one, he was just happy to be with his mom, you know? He was like a little kid with his mom. It was really cute. It was really adorable. And um, I hope we see that more with Chuck because, you know, he's, he's such a complex character. He wants to be good, but because of things that happened in the past, he was bad. Um, or at least, you know, bad. 